Time now is 6.30. We are staying on top of breaking news. Pro-Palestine protests have been happening overnight at Virginia Tech. We have live team coverage this morning with ABC 13's Kelsey Childress and Jacob Hunsaker at Virginia Tech right now. First, let's send things over to Kelsey. She joined us live there from the Graduate Life Center on campus. And Kelsey, you have been there for hours. Walk us through what's going on because a lot has changed in just the past couple of hours. Well, there has been a lot of change, Patty. I want to give you a look behind me because now that the sun is coming out, you can really see what's left behind at that encampment. You can see empty sleeping bags, empty book bags, empty food cases, empty lawn chairs. That's because every single person that was over there was arrested by police around 1.30 and starting apparently last night at 9.30 on Sunday. Now, take a look at this. Students tell me that they got a text at 4 today that police would be coming to clear the area, and if they didn't leave, they would be arrested. Students say police got there at 830 last night with a speaker and said they were going to arrest people for trespassing. At 930, police started arresting students in that encampment. Now I spoke with one Palestinian student who had this message for school leaders. Shame on you. Shame on you. There's listen, like listen to us. We're here. We're here and we're telling you what we want. Now, there's three main things that they want from the school. First, they want them to be transparent about their money and funds. They also want them to condemn Israeli violence. And then they also want them to acknowledge Palestinian suppression here on campus. We're live in Blacksburg this morning. Kelsey Childress, ABC 13 News. <laughs> And ABC 13's Jacob Hunsaker is live on Virginia Tech's campus as well. All right, Jacob, what have you learned about how the university is responding to what's happened? Uh, Patty Page, good morning to both of you. What we've learned from the university is that they want these protests to end, and they want these protests to end now. They've been going on for days now throughout the entire weekend, starting on Friday morning. Things have remained mostly peaceful, but again, as Kelsey mentioned, they got a little bit out of hand last night. If you take a look behind me here, as we just mentioned, that encampment is now completely cleared out. You can see a couple of these police officers to my left here on standby. Things have been fairly calm here over the last couple of hours since my photog and I just arrived on scene around, I want to say 3.30 this morning. It's been fairly calm here, but it was back on Friday that the university says they informed the protesters that the gathering was in violation of the university policy regarding facilities usage and events. They say that things remain peaceful thanks to continued discussions between everyone involved. But as Sunday progressed, the university says the protesters refused to follow the policies and took up more space. That's when the university says they, quote, recognized the situation had the increasing potential to become unsafe, end quote. The university says they repeatedly asked protesters to disperse, which protesters ignored. As of 10:15 last night, Sunday night, police approached protesters to ask them again to leave and to do so within five minutes. They told them that those who remained were subject to arrest. As we mentioned, that's when things turned sour and all of those in the encampment were arrested. At this point, the university is asking all students, staff and faculty to avoid this area and those that are still here to comply with officials as they ask them to clear this area. Whether or not that actually happens, that's the question. We'll continue to update you throughout the morning on how things progress here at Virginia Tech. We're live in Blacksburg this morning. Jacob Hunziker, ABC 13 News. And this morning, we're getting new responses from overnight. Take a look at these tweets. A woman named Maria Siddiqui, she's at Virginia Tech, confirms she's a graduate assistant at the university, took to, to, took to X and posted this. She claims professor named Burkham Gill was arrested. And another new tweet, this one from the group of Virginia Young Dems saying, quote, we'll be monitoring the situation at Virginia Tech as police present increases. Once again, we support all students' rights to peacefully protest. We're hoping for the safety of everyone involved. Speaking out against injustice is not illegal or controversial. Now, we'll continue to monitor these protests throughout the day today. So remember, you can also monitor the latest news by using our ABC 13 News app. Be sure to